Hello, welcome back to our RT Lendy course part four basically. So let's we have a look what we have covered so far. Could jump into module one, two, three, four, and we are working on module five data structure, export, and import. And a quick reminder what we have on module five writing and formatting output. Uh, we have covered formatting out commands writing and we are under the strings and part of the strings we did uh, redirection type of strings we covered if you call earlier we covered this the literal strings variable strings and today we'll continue with the rest and we'll see what info we can gain around it so now jumping back to the to string when an object needs to be converted to a string PowerShell calls the toString method. The default implementation returns the, uh, the, return the fully qualified name of the type of the object. The method can be override, overridden so that the result may be different for each type. Look at the example. This method returns a human readable string that is culture sensitive, for example. Uh, for an instance of the double class uh, whose value is zero, the implementation of double dot to string may return zero dot zero 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 or uh, zero hyphen zero zero zero, depending on the current UI culture. The default implementation return the fully qualified name of the type of the object. The method can be overridden in a divert class return value and could be such as uh, int32 which implement two strings that sort return same value which is object represent okay also depend on the two strings brackets method define the object inside it it's always useful you know uh, depend on the formatting itself next inheritance what do we have here the definition made on the system object class are very relevant for powershell without the get type command whole formatting system will not work and also get member will not work this is the inheritance okay the equal method is used to compare object hyphen equal operator sort object where object and so on and of course without having to string method converting the object text that will not be possible you can see the system dot value type system until 32 and system boolean and system input or some output will be defined by the full name extension delete to strings also you can see the file name and directory info as well next we have the here strings here string is used to embed a large chunk of text in line in script this can be powerful when you regenerating output from another program when here string is displayed it contains all of the lines that were entered here strings have special quoting rules and such as quote a sub expression are both fine here this include both single and double quote here strings is started by the add or double quote sorry add with double quote or r single and carriage chain the content is then started to the new line and contained until it's ended with again double quote add or single okay which means the content of the hair strings is all of the lines between the beginning and the ending of the quotation because of the fancy opening and closing quote sequence other special characters such as curl that will cause problem is uh, i mean will be irregular strings which are fine here 
and make it easy to generate strings that with data without having quotation errors okay escape character wikipedia escape character is a character which invoke an alternative interpretation on subsequent character in a character sequence it can enable or disable the next character alternately alternative interpretation Escape character are used to assign special interpretation to the character that follow it in Windows PowerShell the escape character is the bracket also called grave license the escape character can be used to indicate literal or to indicate the continuity and indication of special characters okay now indicating a literal how does that work when escape character precedes a variable it prevents the value from being substituted for a variable when escape character precedes double quotation mark windows powershell interpret it the double quotation mark as a character not as a string delimiter second part we said earlier indication or indicating line continuation the escape character tells windows powershell command to continue on the next line and indicating special character when used with quotation mark the escape character indicate special character that provide instruction to the command parser let me just show you a few of these examples special characters like line feeds are easy to use in powershell 0 a b f n r t v with double quotation or single null alert backspace no form feed windows powershell support set of special character sequence that are used to represent character that are not part of the standard character sets the special character in windows powershell begins with bracket character also known as gave ascent that's all what i had for you today hopefully you have enjoyed it quick recap we spoke about we finished the variable strings two strings inheritance and then we start with the here strings then escaping characters and we cover this table at the end of it hopefully you have learned something useful and i shall see you at module five part five thank you for watching goodbye